We're uh, hunting in northwest Texas, right adjacent to and touching the New Mexican border. The uh, Canadian River Ranch. So they made a huge deal out of shooting this mountain lion down here. Like, the ranch owner has been trying to kill a mountain lion his whole life. Well, we saw this bull, uh, saw the tips of his horns across the canyon, just over, see it over some trees. So we see this heavy deer kind of drift into the brush and uh, there was a lot of discussion. Some time was lost with, you know, should we shoot this, should we not? I'd gotten to see the deer and, and basically we made the choice like, hey, Nikki, let's go get a, a better crack at the deer. The traditions of the outdoor sportsman are more important than ever, and it's up to us to pass them on to others. Two families, one passion to inspire the next generation of ethical hunters and conservationists, continuing the legacy of hunting and fishing in the outdoors. We're uh, hunting in northwest Texas, right adjacent to and touching the New Mexican border. The uh, Canadian River Ranch with Nathan Olmstead. We're about as far north and west as you can get in Texas. It's a super cool hunt because we're hunting with the Prime Revolution crew. So we've got Mike and Julie Deanna and their son Joey, and also we've got Clint and Michelle Caparo. But really what's super cool is my wife's in camp with us this week and her brother and his wife. So it's a kind of a giant family reunion. Of course, we got Claycorn and, and his wife in camp from Cryptic as well. A lot of fun, great group all together, kind of a big family reunion. The draw to the hunt was that we could do mule deer, elk, awdad, whitetail, and so it's kind of a special deal. It's mid-December right now, so we're just, you know, kind of in between the and ending all of our other hunts that we normally do. So it was kind of like a bonus last year type uh, deal and, and uh, it's been super neat. My primary focus was to get my wife uh, a good mule deer. I wasn't even concerned about pulling the trigger or shooting anything. I just wanted to see her have an opportunity to harvest a real good buck. But we did have some bonus opportunities. Uh, we were driving around, we had a mountain lion spring up in front of us and believe it or not, they. There's no tags necessary in Texas. They don't have a season. They're kind of considered, like in most states, shooting a coyote. I was fortunate enough to jump out of the truck, get in position, and, and make a running 285-yard shot. So they made a huge deal out of shooting this mountain lion down here. Like, the ranch owner has been trying to kill a mountain lion his whole life. And this dude stacks coyotes up like cordwood. He kills like 2,500 coyotes a year. So. Once he got wind that we shot this mountain lion, he was like, couldn't believe it. Pretty impressed and devastated at the same time because he's put so much time into it. And everybody that's in camp, all the guides and Nathan's crew, they were like, they'd never seen that before. They'd never seen a mountain lion on the ground. They said how crazy this was, how unique it was, how impossible it was. Well, today I was out hunting and I get a text and Claycorn shot a mountain lion too. <laughs> so. <laughs> Team Cryptek, Butch Whiting and Josh Claghorn came down here and killed two mountain lions. It's kind of funny actually. We saw lots of mule deer but nothing big enough that Joey wanted and we saw three bull elk at the end. They were all small.
Well, we saw this bull, uh, saw the tips of his horns across the canyon, just over, see it over some trees, glassed him up, was able to get on him. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. I got the shakes out. Grab one. That one too. Yeah. First elk has uh, been an amazing experience. Living in Idaho, amazing elk country. Never, never been elk hunting before. Um, was invited here for my first elk opportunity. It's been an amazing experience. Josh likes Africa and spends a lot of time in Africa. He always has, and a lot of times when I'm doing elk hunts and mule deer hunts, you know, he'll be in Africa doing all the different stuff they've got there. So hey, this is the first elk that Claghorn has killed. He killed a beautiful, big, heavy, heavy, mature five by five. And you wouldn't expect to see in Texas, that's for sure. Free range elk, they're coming across from uh, New Mexico and they're wintering down here on the Canadian River Ranch. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's a fantastic, huge bull in terms of its body and just great mass. So I couldn't be happier for him. That's awesome. That's Good. beautiful. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. When he stands up, he's like, okay. When he stood up, he's like, you shoot now. <laughs> now. <laughs> something as he got in and he looked back and there's a bear coming over this side so my dad's like oh whatever he gets in the truck and i'll say it feels a truck move and that bear's reaching over and grabbing the deer and it was a know, 100 inch sicka and so my dad jumps out of the truck and the spanish guys in the back seat they're freaking out right my dad has the antlers and the bear has the hind quarters <laughs> and they're pulling back and forth, back and forth. Get it back. My dad's yelling at the bear. The Spanish guys in the truck are like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> you know how Spanish are, right? Yeah. Kind of filling in. My dad finally reaches down, gets a rock and hits the bear in the head, like throws it, hits the bear. The bear lets go. My dad jumps in the truck and tries to take off and the bear still got the damn deer. <laughs> So we see this heavy deer kind of drift into the brush and uh, there was a lot of discussion. Some time was lost with, you know, should we shoot this, should we not? I'd gotten to see the deer and, and basically we made the choice like, hey, Nikki, let's go get a, a better crack at the deer. Finding a needle in a haystack that was, out here. That was him. that was a fun spot. Well, man, he couldn't have held stiller or still for me for sure. Uh, I'm still shaking. <laughs> years ago so super excited about taking a Texas deer. 
What made it super special was that everybody was there. Nikki made an absolutely great shot. And then I think we had like 20 people. I don't know how many it was. It's the most people I've ever seen around a single mule deer at any time. So that was really fun because everybody got to be a part of the experience. And uh, it made it even that much more special. Yeah, I'd love to come back and hunt with Nathan and his crew. His guides are, you know, really good dudes and, and experienced and world class. And I'm excited for this operation and see where it goes in the future. Lots and lots of potential for whitetail, mule deer, elk, odd dad, and, and other things. So at the end of the day, I hope to return. <laughs>